and you're going to set up a special report for us. It's hardly likely, given the parlous state that this municipality finds itself in, that Treasury is going to get its money. Yes, I've uh, got it on good authority that, uh, well, ESCOM yesterday saying that Naledi local municipality, which falls under Dr. Ruth uh, Sechamotsi Mompati, owes 280 million rand. They're not paying their bills. It's unlikely they're going to pay this one. And they've already lost 150 million in VBS. The forensic report detailing that 101 was left in the bank. Nobody can explain what happened to the other 48 and a bit. So there may have been a withdrawal by the municipality, but nobody knows where that money is. But there was at least 101 left when it was placed under administration, the bank. So I went to go have a look at the state of service delivery in this particular district. And it's important because we're, what we're trying to do here as we continue to report this increasingly complicated story mm. is to put uh, a visual identity uh, to the abuse of the money. What is the yeah. consequence yeah. of a municipality illegally investing your and my and taxpayers' mm. money that should go? It's a conditional grant. It must go towards uh, bulk infrastructure, roads, expanded public works program. Mm. What happens when that money doesn't go where it's supposed to? So once again, you got in your car. You know this area particularly well now, Michael yes. Apple. Uh, what was the nature of the investigation? Well, Fortune smiled on me a couple of times. I was right place, right time. Managed to see a true reflection of how some of the communities are forced to live. Mm. And let's just put it into the mind of the viewer that this is not six months a year as a result of this VBS payment. In some cases, they've been without water for eight years. Trucks truck in water and refuse has piled up for the last mm. 11 months. So this is a municipality that is not servicing its community properly. We're going to see the pictures in just a moment, but um, when you looked at this, I mean, how did you feel? I mean, what did it look like? Jeremy, you can understand that when you're standing around raw sewage, it seeps into your pores. Mm. What also really sets in is the deplorable state that we expect South Africans to live in. You have suburbs, you have informal settlements, you have <coughs> rural areas. There is, there is no equality in how South Africans live. And some people are so tired of complaining, it's just become the new normal. And when you speak to community members, desperation? Desperation, anger that was fiery at a stage. But once again, it's become the new normal that to have sewage going past your front door and a pile of rubbish outside and to have the kids play in that. That's just part of everyday life. All right, let's take a look now at this uh, special report from uh, Michael Apple.